Welcome to what I think is uh, Brazil. This is a new map that came out yesterday on the 24th of June 2021. This is called Porto Barinha Farm. This is by, uh, yeah, let's see, Bruno Covas, C. Henrique, Agro Farms BR. So these are the same guys that gave us South Paranha. Uh, in Brazil, so the topography is very much the same as on South Paranha. Paranha. Uh, this has additional crops. Uh, you have uh, black beans, bracaria, bracaria, <laughs> millet, rye, sorghum, and rice. So yeah, let's just jump in it and yeah. The file size for this is 285.33 megabytes to download. There is a house, but there's no cell point. A uh, couple of um, issues on this map, but you know, it's a new map and uh, that's what we are used to. But anywho, let's jump into the map. So here we go. What do you start with? Well, you start with the farm area and field number 12. Are there other farms in the map? Yes, there is. Uh, there is a big farm up here, which you can buy for 257,000. And you also have a farm area or sheds down here with a small field, which you can buy for 242,000. So, you know, like I said, there are no sleep trigger, uh, and there's no sleep trigger mods on uh, this map. So you better have a doormat or some sleeping shoes. Uh, field prices, well, <laughs> they vary a lot. You have these normal sized small fields, which are around 100,000. But then you can, you know, buy, for example, Field 10, which is 1.7 million. Field 9 is pretty big. And field 23, which is 1 million. And the periphery, well, also here, 11.2 million. Uh, but that's only covering cell points and shop and some forestry area in the north here. Uh, there's no BG BGA on this map, even in the mod hub it says that well for bga you can place your own one bga can be created from the player state uh, i haven't found any flat good placeable areas only you know in the periphery which is <laughs> really expensive and also you don't have a silo uh, on either of the farms. This one, the Calcario, this is a buy point for um, lime. You have animal dealer and shop, and you have a really nice highway, a four-way four highway, so to speak, in the south. Feira is a sell point for... Ooh, yeah, uh, we, we'll get into it. You have a... Um, Sawmill up here, the Madeira Reira. This sawmill will only take your logs. For wood chips, you have to go down to the Feira. You have the Usina Barinha, which is a root crop uh, cell point. And up here, you have some cows. Uh, you can buy it for 251,000. Even though I tested it, and you can. Let's just jump in it straight away. It looks like an in-game cow pasture. The animal dialogue box is not here. It's just on the side here. So even though you don't own the land, you can buy cows and they will spawn into the grass or the meadow over there. 
let's see what else on the map. Uh, yeah, let's go into the uh, crop types. I really like the the um, details on you know the icons. Even you know some of them also have text in it. Um, new cell, uh, new crops. It's coming just after the digestate, which is the green tank. The the grass one is the brachiaria. Then you have uh, rice. Uh, next one is rye. The next one after that is millet. Then you have black beans and then uh, sorghum. Prices? <laughs> well, <laughs> this uh, there are some. Re I'm on easy, by the way. Um, New farmer, easy economy, but look at the prices, for instance, on cotton. Cotton will pay 13,000. Uh, eggs will pay 17,000. Uh, what else? I think black beans. Yeah, black beans, 9,800. I don't know how big the yield is, but yeah, also rice, almost 7,000. So they're going to give you a lot of money for these <laughs> new <laughs> crop types. As you can see, there are one main cell point, the cooperative interfloat. Feira, which is a small uh, hut, uh, will take you know some of the root crops, but also uh, your grass products and wood chips. And the uh, Yusina Barinya, which is the, yeah, I think they call it the sugar beet plant. Do, do, do. Anyway, sugar cane mill. Uh, so this will take your root crops and sugar cane. Uh, contracts are available, and of course, if I would have started here, I would have taken the the cotton harvesting contract since cotton is paying a lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can jump into equipment, what you start with, and slot count. So then we jump into here. Slot count on new farmer is 586. You got a pretty decent John Deere 6M. You got a Stara with 180 horsepower. John Deere T560 harvester, a trailer. And as you can see, the trailer here is a uh, multi fruit, which will take everything. The only thing I'm a little bit uncertain of is that red thing there. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll highlight it uh, just beside sugarcane. I don't know what it is. I haven't found out in the on the map wh what it is. But anyway, a header or headers. We have a plow, a cedar. And this, the normal cedars on the game will do all of the new crop types. Uh, with bracaria, rice, rye, millet, sorghum and black beans. And also the headers. So if we go into, you know, cedars and take this one, you can see the same here. The planters will not do anything special. No. Well, sorry for that. The planters will, uh, oh, <laughs> the planters will also do, um, Rice, rye, millet, and black beans, and cotton, of course. And now I see what the red thing is. That's probably seeds or fertilizer. No, it's gotta be seeds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, when it comes to mods, I haven't found any mods in here. Um, not under any of these, not even under silos. Um, when it comes to silos, uh, like I said, oh, I don't have enough money for that. Ay, ay, ay. You know what? Let's, uh, how much is it? 110. Let's sell this one so we get enough money because I want to show you that. In your farm area here, it's real. This is a small silo, and it's really hard to 
there's no place to you know place a silo here because the terrain is very difficult even here on your field uh, I've tested all over the place there and I don't get any green signals up so maybe there are some smaller ones smaller silos but just be aware of that that silos is a little bit tricky to place this is the farm area as I said the white thing here this is a water point which you have a couple of actually on uh, the map um, did I mention that you start at 6 a.m. in the morning well you do uh, the shadows a little bit dark inside the sheds there are no lights uh, these are all your workers uh, houses you have a ramp here to you know offload into trailer um, yeah so let's see uh, let's go in here and we need to move on maybe we'll have a quick round uh, the map uh, firstly I just wanted to show you a short clip uh, on how it will look uh, when you start it on farm manager so here we go farm manager and as you can see also here starting at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> very dark uh, as you can see, we start with all the equipment, so let's jump into the map. You don't start with any field, so the main farm and field number 12 is 220,000 to buy. Also here, you don't have any silo. Slot count, well, slot count is exactly the same as on New Farmer, the only difference is that yeah, you don't have the field, uh, but you have 1,250,000. And still, I cannot find any light switches, even though there are lights. So, they are not automatically. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, Farm Manager. So, that's how it will look if you start it on uh, Farm Manager. So, I'm going to jump. In, I think we're gonna take this one since this is some kind of South Brazilian. <laughs> so, where are we going? Well, I think uh, we're gonna start here. We're gonna go down to the animal dealer and down to the shop and to the main cell point. Then we're gonna do a drag race on the highway <laughs> over here and down to the Feira. So, just over here, over the street of your farm, you have the animal dealer. Trigger is just here. So, as you can see, cows. Since cows are the only animal on the map for now. And the next thing will be the uh, line point, which you can see just ahead of us. I have tested it and it worked. It's just a matter of driving over here with your trailer and press L3 to start fill. And as you can see, it's a little bit bumpy here and there and also out on the fields, especially on the big field, field number uh, 10. Well, most of the fields actually is the same principle as uh, South Paranya. And now we're gonna cross the highway here. <laughs> and we are coming up to the main cell point. This is the, oh, what was it called again? The cooperative. And yeah. Does the scale work? No. So here we are, as you can see on the minimap, we are all the way down south. So this is the main cell point, which is called... 
do, 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 the cooperative interfloat which will buy more or less everything except the well all the normal crops so to speak so I'm gonna just jump out well the shop is just north of the main cell point you have the Barinia SP this is also the um, reset point now did I find a workshop trigger here no that was the thing there's no workshop trigger here you know to customize your vehicles or maybe on the back side here no did we have one at the farm I don't think so no so there's no workshop trigger that's interesting anyway I'm gonna head out to the uh, highway and I'm gonna go over here I'm probably gonna time lapse it a little bit and then I'll see you that at the fair So here we are at the next cell point, which is the Feira, or the Fair in English, maybe. This one is, well, it's a very good prices on this place. This guy is just waiting for products. So this will take your root crops, eggs, milk, and wool, and also your wood chips, and your grass products, and manure and slurry pretty interesting and as, as I said <laughs> selling eggs here or uh, cotton is gonna pay out pretty good this guy is really making money I guess and as you, uh, was, as you also saw we did pass the other farm area so to speak the shed area now the only place I think maybe you can place a BGA is over here a really small one but anyway, driving through here, this is the gas station, which is working. And then I'm going to go up to the Madeira Deira, which is the log cell point, And then we'll take the sugarcane plant. Let's see, I need to go... Uh, that's the exit to the sugar cane. I'm not going there. I need to go a little bit ahead. But these road systems here are really nice. I've been to Brazil a couple of times uh, on work. And these highways really um, reminds me of... You know, I was working on a ship just uh, east of Rio de Janeiro, a town called Cabo Frio. And 
on the way from the airport to Cabo Frio, this area here reminds me a little bit of it. We, oh, with these highways and uh, farm areas in between. Now this um, to, to sawmill here, uh, you can only sell uh, logs. I did have a struggle with it when I tested it earlier on today. <laughs> But then I found out that wood chips you need to go to the Feira uh, to sell. So here we are. Sawmill is just over here. Uh, I'm just gonna jump in here with a short clip where I tested it. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> sawmill I really thought that that point over there was for wood chips you know what I think maybe I'm gonna do a shortcut through the woods here I know it's not always the correct thing to do but just to save some time oh I'm gonna regret this no there we go so now this big area here is the uh, sugarcane plant so to speak also reminds me a little bit about south brazilian map where we also have this big plant i think so this will take all of your root crops Whoa. potatoes sugar beets sugarcane and you also have some uh, you know animations over here and also over that shed so this one you see now barinha sugarcane sugar beet potatoes and yeah that's it actually potatoes so where we are and i think the next thing will be uh i'm just gonna well we have been here at the cow pasture uh i've covered all the cell points now actually so i think we'll just end up here with the flyover over the fields there and as you can see there are some really big fields and you know you can see the the ridges between the fields here even though this hair all of this green fields here are one field this is field number 10 uh, i did uh, on south paranya i did try to you know plow in between and uh, i guess that's also doable here but the only issue i had is it's really hard to smooth out all of these <laughs> But anyway, I guess it's all, on all Brazilian maps you have these ridges. This is the other farm area, which you can buy for around 250,000. Also here, workers, houses, a water point. Oh, there! Woo, here we have a workshop trigger. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, but also here farmhouse you need to place a sleep trigger so yeah but a really nice south brazilian or i assume it's a south brazilian map just be aware you don't have any silo sleep trigger need to be placed if you want to sleep and yeah bga just download, uh, there's a lot of uh, BGA mods to place down. So yeah, I think that was it. Short and sweet and simple on this new map. So again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button and all those bells and whistles. And I'll uh, see you the next time. Bye bye.